audio team didn't go to the ends of the earth to record the orchestral soundtrack to RuneScape, they went to Slovakia. This week, Behind the Scenes meets composer James Hannigan, conductor Alan Wilson, and Jagex's very own mod Lord to hear what's coming. Today we've come to Bratislava to this absolutely beautiful building and we're here to record an orchestra for RuneScape. We've made a lot of improvements to music recently in RuneScape. We've added live players, singing, but this really takes it to the next level. This is something special. I'm James Hannigan. I've been composing for games for about 17 years. I've worked on the Harry Potter series, Lord of the Rings. Working on RuneScape is really very exciting for me because I, I actually signed up to play the game when it was first introduced around 10 years ago. You know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of RuneScape and the fantasy genre in general. James Hannigan was really up for writing music for RuneScape. It's his kind of style, the old sort of medieval style. He, he likes the big epic themes. He's really good at writing exciting music. He writes wonderful melodies and really good counter melodies and his harmonies are very, very adventurous. Today uh, we've recorded quite a variety of material. Um, two of the most important tracks were variations on the existing RuneScape theme. We've got a very nice, soft, low-key, very lyrical version of the theme, which I think has come out very, very nicely. And we've got a grand, sort of large-scale take, the big theme. strong theme, it's known by a lot of people. We, we wanted to be quite sympathetic to the history of RuneScape, but we really wanted to take it to the next level. The orchestra itself is called the Slovak National Symphony Orchestra. The lineup we have here today is a full string section. We have 14 first violins, 12 seconds, 10 viola, 8 cello and 6 basses, which is a really, really good size for, for a string section. And to complement that, we have a fairly large brass section of six French horns. Over there we have three trumpets, three trombones and a tuba. And then we have the regular symphonic woodwind section, which is two flutes, two oboes, two clarinets and two bassoons. We are first class, world class. They're a very established orchestra. And so they, they were the perfect choice. I mean, the, the, the sound that we're going for as well it's, uh, it's very sort of rich, lush fantasy music. I think it's very appropriate for this environment. There's a lovely concert hall, there's a lovely space. The acoustics in here are absolutely fantastic. There's two elements that you can never replace electronically, and that's soul and spirit. And that's what you get from a live orchestra playing live and being re recorded live. It's a real humbling experience to hear pure musicianship playing. There's no, there's no electronics, there's no correcting things. It, it's just musicians that have dedicated their lives to their instruments and the, the whole sound is just, is just magical. Today has gone very, very well. They really blew me away, they exceeded all my expectations and uh, you know, we got some really, really nice music recorded. It feels absolutely fantastic to be here, to feel the music come to life. Is that the realisation of all the ideas that we've been putting together over the months, it's, uh, it's a fantastic feeling. Leveling up your prayer is always a tough one, and in next week's Behind the Scenes, we talk to Mod Krista about one of the hardest skills to train, Behind the scenes, let us pray 